What is up, Dokkan player? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Blade. Today, we are back with another Dokkan battle video. And today, before we start the video, of course, hope you guys are having a very good day today. So today, we're going to go ahead and take a look here at the upcoming banner for the Worldwide Celebration 2022, the predictions, and also shout out here to Raspi on Twitter. Um, I actually like this display here, so we're actually going to go ahead and use it because it's actually going to be very similar to my predictions for the banner. Um, but yeah, this is going to be probably the best banner in Dokkan history, um, by far better than the 70th anniversary, uh, banner. So this is why I've been telling a lot of global players specifically that you don't want to go too deep on the banner because you want to save your stones and also your red coins for the worldwide celebration because the units are just a lot better here, especially that the new LRs are probably going to be, you know, power crap, um, or power creep here, sorry, for the sub max event. So, um, we're going to start off here with the Goku banner. Uh, as you guys know, it is confirmed that Cooler and Goku are the next Dokkan Fest LRs for the campaign or for Worldwide Celebration. And um, as far as the side banner unit, uh, I don't think it's going to be Piccolo. Well, to be honest, it could be Piccolo, but I don't want another Piccolo. And the reason why is because we never have a very good Piccolo card. I mean, the, I think to this day, the only good Piccolo card is going to be here, the physical one that can actually, you know, stack defense and has a scouter. But listen, man, I don't want to get another Piccolo that's going to be very mid because... During last year's celebration for the 350 million download, we got this garbage, right? I mean, I wouldn't say he's garbage, but he's not reliable, right? His stats were just very, very bad. Defense, very bad. Um, not even that runnable and super battled, I would say here. But, uh, I I mean, we could see a Piccolo, but listen, I, I just, I'm not in the mood here. I think this might be Kid Icarus and Gohan um, for a side battery unit. Um... You know, it, it all depends. Or maybe it might even be a Kid Gohan. Who knows, right? But I'm not really in the mood for another Piccolo card to only be very mid at the very end, right? Like, Piccolo deserves some respect. So, I'd rather wait for, like, an orange Piccolo where we know he's going to be good here. So, uh, but again, it could be Piccolo. But I'm going to go here with probably Kid Gohan slash Icarus um, as far as the side banner unit here. And um, as far as the other units for the Dokkan Fest... Uh, I definitely believe here that uh, Full Power Frieza and also LR Goku and Vegeta are definitely part here of the banner. And the reason why is because if we take a look here at the previous banners for the $350 million celebration, guess what? They always bring back the older celebration units from the previous years as part of their banner. Um, so same thing here on the Goku banner and same thing here on the Frieza banner. Um, let's go back here. Um, go back here. All right, so we'll take a look here at the Frieza banner. And you can see here that we have here, of course, here last year, which was Goku and Vegeta. And then the year before that was Cell. Um, so I definitely feel like for sure these guys are going to be here on the banner. Not just sure if if Incel and also Gohan are going to be on the banner. But I because of the 70th anniversary where we got here two LR EZAs for the 3th anniversary LRs, which was very unprecedented before. Uh, we might actually get an easy for both these characters. So having these guys on this banner actually adds value if they get an easy, a, which is really good for new players and players who haven't rainbowed this unit yet. Um, because Cell is definitely has aged out. Um, I don't think he's that runnable and the more the full content right now, even the ultimate red zone. But he gets absolutely destroyed in the Cell Max event, even type advantage. Uh, so him having an easy a definitely would help out the event. And definitely would help out a lot of people who are struggling to actually beat the Cell Max event. So um, I, I would think that, you know, there, there might get an easy A. Because again, during the 70th anniversary, uh, we got an, an easy A for the LR Goku and for Vegeta for the third year anniversary. So uh, I do have some high hopes that these guys finally get an easy A. Um, but more importantly, like you have this guy's easy A and you put him with Cooler, which is part of maybe transformation boost and maybe even part of another 200% leader skill. Like, you're cooking with the Cell because let's take a quick look here at Cell, right? Cell has so many categories. It's actually pretty crazy. Um, all right, come on. Let's open up here very quickly. Slow internet. Um, come on, come on. Oh, you gotta love my internet, man. My internet is super duper slow. But yes, you can see here that Cell has Android, Transformation Boost, Time Travelers, Artificial Life Form. Target Goku, Power Absorption, Sworn Enemies, Worldwide Chaos, etc. Like, this cell has so many categories that, like, listen. Uh, is it not a Transformation Boost? Oh, yes, right there he is. Okay, phew. I thought for a second it was not part of Transformation Boost, but you get it, right? Like, these two on the same, you know, 
same rotation or same team on a 2% leader skill is going to be very deadly. Um, now, we also have here, of course, here the Golden Week units as well, which are definitely going to be part of the banner, in my opinion. Because if we take a look here again at the Worldwide Celebration banner um, for Goku and for Frieza last year, um, we had here Super Saiyan GT Goku. And then they had here Super Saiyan GT Vegeta uh, on this banner right here, which again were part of the um, Golden Week celebration units um, for the year 2021. So we can definitely expect here to have your Goku Ensa, which is really good. Again, adding more value to the banner because now, I mean, for sure, maybe in the Ultimate Red Zone it wasn't that noticeable, but now for the Cell Max event, we can definitely see here that the 200% leader skills are definitely really important because. Um, HP is now a huge factor, uh, and also the extra stats for attack and defense, but uh, the 200 pen leader scores are definitely needed in today's meta for sure. Um, so I definitely expect you to have your Cell and also Goku here as well. I do also expect you to have your Kid Buu to return here on both JP and Global. Um, now it's not yet really confirmed for these guys, but I feel like they're definitely going to be part of the celebration. And if Kid Buu is actually going to be on this banner right here, again, this is just going to add even more value to this banner because, again, he's definitely going to be with Cooler's leader skill and potentially finally might get a 200% leader skill. Uh, again, you, you let this Kid Buu actually cook up for, like, you know, two or three turns, he becomes a pure demon. Um, and just right now, he's overshadowed by Goku because Goku does have access to a 200% leader skill. Um, but I definitely believe your Kid Buu is going to be back here on the banner. Tech Ultimate Gohan, I don't think he's going to be part of the banner. Um, I think it's very odd that he's going to be part of this banner right here. Um, because it doesn't really fit the whole theme of this right here, right? Like, usually, when we take a look at these banners right there, there's kind of a theme going on, right? Um, even for Goku here, we have Bardock, we have Transforming Goku. You know, a lot of stuff are related, but Tech Ultimate Gohan is very left, I would say. Um... So I, I believe this character might be transforming Goku. Um, and I'm talking about the base form one, right? Because the reason why I say this is because Goku uh, goes Super Saiyan in his first transformation. So uh, I would probably expect that this is going to be transforming Goku. Uh, I'm not too sure about Super Saiyan 3 Goku either. Because I guess not really... Well, maybe because he's a movie hero. So maybe Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Goku might be part of the banner. Uh, but this transforming Goku as well... Um, is definitely going to be coming up for an easy day, hopefully, during the celebration. Because, um, don't forget, last year, during the uh, Worldwide campaign, uh, we actually got two easy A's, right? We actually had the Transforming Frieza, and on the Part 2, we had your Transforming Goku as the easy A. So, uh, do expect your two easy A's minimum to be dropping during the celebration, as far as, um, these, as far as TURs, because, um... Last year, again, we had your two easy A's. So, um, this Goku definitely is overdue for an easy A. Um, as far as this side right here, um, again, I think it might be cooler that might, that actually might get his transformation first. Um, or his easy A, sorry, than the STR. But I would really prefer if the STR actually got his easy A first. Because that would be really ridiculous. Um, especially now, they have to make them super busted because of some max event. Like, these guys, their easy A has to be, like... Top tier. It, 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 there's no way it, can, it, it has. It, it could be mid here. Um, it'll be like very unacceptable in my opinion. But we'll have to wait and see as far um, if they get an easy A here. Um, now, as far as this banner right here as well, I don't think AGL Cooler might be on it. Again, I believe maybe SR might not be on it either as well because one of these two characters are. I think is gonna be re replaced here by the Transforming Frieza. I think Transforming Frieza might be on the banner as well, just because it also kind of fits through the team as well. Since you can, we can see during the countdown, right, that uh, we have pictures of Goku and Frieza. So uh, I do expect your Transforming Frieza to take one of these guys' places here. Uh, maybe STR Cooler, because I said before, uh, Asia Cooler maybe might get as easy before STR, but we'll just have to wait and see here. And then, of course, here we have your the Physical Cooler, which I think makes a lot of sense here as well to be part of the banner. So um, that's going to be pretty much it. Uh, as far as the side banner unit on cooler side, uh, I think here that it's definitely going to be here. Um, what's his face here? Trouser. I think Trouser is for sure, you know, definitely needs like another revamp as far as his TUR because the first one, the, the cooler squad is just very bad. They're just like never been runnable. So uh, I would really like to have this um, Trouser be very busted as a side banner unit. But uh, 
yeah that's pretty much it i think i agree with how the banner is going to look like again we have here super saiyan goku Tanks, gohan uh cell and then also goku for for cooler side of the banner but um again this is going to be the best banner in dokkan history uh definitely worth also your red coins here as well um but you know if you get pretty lucky you might want to save your red coins for of course here the uh, tanaba celebration on global right so that's gonna be about it so let me know what you guys think let me know if you guys agree with this banner unit let me know what you guys think is gonna be on the banner uh I, again this is gonna be an incredible celebration with all the free stones so oh, sorry with all the free play stones we're gonna get here as well so it's gonna be very interesting how this comes by and then also on top of that listen cooler and goku as an lr are probably gonna break the game of dokkan it's gonna be like a new meta again so gonna be pretty interesting how well we see this all right so i want to say thank you for watching if you guys enjoyed uh, make sure to hit the like button sub for more videos come down below and hopefully i'll see you guys on the next one peace